y'all. It's Rebecca. I'm Holly Rustic, and I'm working on a project today I thought I would share with you all. And of course, just like last Monday, I'm having technical problems. <laughs> so, if you got a text saying that we were going to be live like five or ten minutes ago, we were. <laughs> but it didn't work out. I said last week I was done with Mondays, and here I am fighting them again. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and started painting while I was trying to deal with my um, stuff. So you're looking at this a little bit of a different angle than normal. Hi, Paula. How are you today? Um, so we are working on the hot air balloon. I think I posted it last week. And said that we might do it live so I am going to go ahead and do it because I need to do a tutorial anyways um so I painted the background white and I painted the frame a turquoise color and now I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and get it out of the way so that I can paint the pieces that go on it so I'm on a little bit of a hot air balloon kick right now so I did the uh, a tutorial for our Holy Creatives membership. We're doing a hot air balloon and string this week. And so while I was doing that, I was like, oh, I still have that other project I need to get on here and do. So here we are. So I just used a little E6000 and I put some glue on the back of this. And now I'm just putting that on there so it can dry while I'm painting the pieces. So you've probably only already seen a picture of this from last week. I am just doing a tutorial now, so I thought I'd do it live with you all. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and these are the pieces that go with it. And honestly, I'm thinking that this would be a really good graduation gift. Hot air balloons, um, I see people doing graduation gifts with like the words adventure awaits or um what is it the dr seuss one um dr seuss what is it oh the places you'll go yeah i'm good paula busy busy So in your kit, what you get is all of these wood pieces and then a bunch of different scrapbook paper that you can use because this is a paper and painting craft. So I have, all of these pieces came out of like a, um, a themed scrapbook uh, package. So they all kind of look alike and have the same colors. So I found some paint that matched them. And what I'm going to do is start from my bottom layer up. So I'm going to do the bottom in navy because there's a little bit of navy in those colors. And then I'm going to do the middle um, like a coral color. And then I'm going to do my paper hearts on top of that. I think this is going to be so cute. It is that time of year. Graduations are among us. I'm sure the teachers are counting down. That's what I used to do when I taught. It's almost summer. <laughs> I know my kids are. Hi, Trisha. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm starting with my darkest and moving up. And I know we're at a weird angle, so I'm hoping y'all can see. I just gave up on my technology today. And <laughs> After last week, look what I put here right in front of me. <laughs> I got, got this at a little local craft store. So I'm looking at this right now. The whole time I was fighting my, my technology, I was like, okay, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm not going to get mad. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, we have the background and the frame, and then these are the bottom hearts. And you'll see once this all comes together, it'll look amazing. So let me move that. Now we're gonna do coral. So these pieces that are connected, these are middle pieces. And I'm just gonna do them a base color of coral. So you could start your paper crafting here, but I'm gonna wait and do the top layer with the paper because I think it'll be easier to show you. Oh, this is so clumpy. So just these pieces that have the hearts all together is what I'm painting 
coral. So this is our middle layer. And this is a lighter color, so it may need two coats. We'll see. And this is one of our kits. You get all of this with your kit. This is the one that had that big old clump, plus a little of my hair in it. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Did y'all have a good Easter weekend? Easter was early this year, wasn't it? We had really pretty weather here, though. I didn't do much. Which was nice, because usually I just work all weekend, so I kind of relaxed. Hey Karen, how are you? We're doing a hot air balloon with some paper and paint and wood. I love this color. This is Tropic Orange from Apple Barrel. I love all their, the Flamingo Coral is my favorite, but this is kind of in the same family. I love it. I got way too much. So this craft is kind of like a puzzle when you get your kit. <laughs> it's like, and we do piece them together before we send them out and wrap them with um, like a saran wrap so that hopefully they don't move. <laughs> but even I, like if I get these out of order, I'll have to look at the picture and remember how to put them back together. But if you like puzzles, this is a fun one. All right, definitely need another coat on here. I'm just wrapping up some loose ends today. Um, I'm gonna go hang out with my kids for a little while. We're gonna go out of town and do some stuff. Like spring break stuff. I've been working too much, so I figured I better take a couple days to breathe. All right, here we go. Yeah, this light color is taking quite a few coats. Such pretty weather here. Can't wait to enjoy it. All right, I think I'm gonna be done with these. They are actually gonna have these other little single hearts on top of them, so I think that even if some of the wood is showing, we're gonna be covering that up. All right, so let's do some paper. In this kit, um, there's two different pieces of scrapbook paper that come with it. Uh, they're just kind of like a look of the uh, basket. So we have like a burlap paper and um, what do you call this? I don't even know. I can't even think of that right now. But I'm trying to decide. I think I don't know which one to use. Which one should I use? The basket or the burlap? Basket or burlap? Which one should I use for the bottom of the balloon? Um. I can't decide. While y'all are telling me, I'm going to go ahead and paint these little pieces here. All right. So these little pieces go here. This is a really 3D project, okay? So you kind of build out from the base until it's super 3D. I need to shake a lot of my paints up. They're a mess. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little brown on these. Oh, we have our uh, BOGO craft coming up too. I need to go through um, our the main page in our um, craft kit group and see what y'all voted on. I think it's I think either the bike or the gnome are probably in the lead so last week we posted all of our new kits and asked which one you wanted to do bogo and paint live this month and i i know i know there's a lot of them for the bike and i think there's a lot of them for the gnome i, I haven't counted anything but they look like they're in they're in the lead so 
Um, we'll figure it out tonight or tomorrow which of those is going to be our April BOGO. So you think this one, the basket? All right, here's what we're going to do then. What we want is to cut out a piece of paper that's going to fit on here. So I'm going to turn it over because I don't want pencil mark on the outside of my paper. Then I'm going to try to figure out what I've done with my pencil. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know where it went. There's a colored pencil. I guess that'll work. All right, and we're just gonna trace around that wood piece here. Definitely not ideal to use this colored pencil that's really dull. But I just want the general shape. So I'm gonna draw that on and then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it out. So we're gonna do this with the basket and we're gonna do this with the um, some of the hearts. Has anybody ever done um, like a decoupage paper? Um, what is the, what am I trying to say? This is what we're doing. And you get Mod Podge in your kit, which works fine. I like to use a, a thing called Collage Podge my favorite favorite for paper mixed media and things like that so hey Tamara how are you doing okay here we go now I cut that out and make sure it fits so it's definitely gonna be too big because my pencil was not right up against the edge there. I'm gonna trim a little bit of it off and then we can go back and sand it down around the edges. So let me just see if I can get it to fit a little bit better before I glue this on. I'm good, Tamara. I am just busy this morning trying to get some things wrapped up because I'm going to go, um, I'm going to take my kids out of town for a couple of days and do some spring break stuff because I've just been working so much. I want to spend some time with them. So they are wrapping up um, some things too and then we're going to head out for a little while. Try to take a break. Okay, so I have my basket cut out. What I want to do now, and again, I'm going to use Collage Podge. Um, you get Mod Podge in this kit, and it works just fine. So I'm just going to squeeze it directly onto the wood. That's probably way too much. It is way too much. Let me scrape some off. And then it's kind of like glue. So you're kind of gluing the paper on, and then I'm going to sand it down and put some more on top of it. So I just covered that area, I used a brush, and then I'm gonna press that down. So I'll be going back over it in just a minute, but I do wanna sand it a little bit to get it even on the edges. Thanks, Tamara. Oh, you do the paper, the napkins? Yeah, those are so pretty. I like seeing the napkins on um, glass. Like mason jars and things like that. You decoupage the napkins onto the mason jars. So I'm just sanding this. This top is a little shaped kind of weird because it's rounded. So I'm just sanding that down and getting the shape right around the basket. Anyone do anything fun for Easter? I noticed a lot of things were closed yesterday, like more 
than I remember being closed in past years. Like even some of the restaurants, we tried to eat out last night and they, they had closed early, which I thought was odd. But I think that might just be another perk that came out of COVID, who knows? Seems like more, more places are closing. Just like Thanksgiving, everything was closed on Thanksgiving, which hasn't happened in years. So I'd say that's probably a good thing. All right, so I sanded that down, and now I'm going to go over it again with my collage podge. So I just go over the whole paper and get that on there real good, especially around the edges. Yeah, I've gotten to where I really love mixed media projects. Um, we've done a couple inside my membership, and they're just so much fun. Love it. But it's just something different, so you're not just painting or just stringing. So we just, I like to combine all different types of media. All right, so our little basket's done. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to move that, let it dry. Now we want to do some hearts. And I really may not ever get this back together. <laughs> I took it apart. And I'd love to know what I did with my pencil. There's a pen. I wonder if that would look work better. That colored pencil really needs to be sharpened. It is not ideal for what I'm doing. Okay, so I have these four um, pieces here, and then I have quite a few of the hearts that we we could paint the hearts, or we can do paper. So I think I'm going to do like a couple of each here. So I'm just gonna trace it. And so I turn my paper over and I'm tracing the wood. Yeah, that pen works a lot better than that colored pencil did. So I'll probably just do a couple hearts on each of the paper. So there's two for the, um, what, what would you call that, teal and white. This is my second hot air balloon today. And I did one in string earlier this morning. And I'm gonna have, to, even though it's like part of our membership, I'm gonna have to show y'all on the main page because it's so cool, I love it. This is my first uh, hot air balloon in string. And I think it turned out really good. It was a lot of fun. But my membership hadn't even seen it yet. They're, uh, get it tomorrow. It's our weekly project. All right, so there's two in this color. Let's do two in the next one. So I'll do a big one and a little one here. Can't remember the last time I was live this early. <laughs> Usually I'm packing orders to about six. I love these scrapbook this scrapbook series here. I probably should have cut these out before I went live, but You'll see the whole process. <laughs> oh, Paula, I'm so glad that you learn a lot. I tell you what, we've I've learned a lot just through trial and error. I've done a lot of things um, the wrong way to get to the right way. <laughs> so I like sharing with everybody. There's been a lot of frustrations along the way, so just like to help other people not have to do all that trial and error. All right, so there's two more. I have four pieces here I wanna do. So, I have the big one and the little one. Another set here, so I'm gonna do the pink. Hey, Lena. 
Lindy, how are you? Oh, we're doing balloons, Lindy, your favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I just really like to be create to create. I think it's and you know I used to I used to think that everything had to be perfect. You know, like I was a terrible artist and I was a terrible creative because, you know, I made mistakes and things weren't perfect or they weren't as good as anybody else. And let me tell you, I got over that at some point and I'm so glad I did because this creative process is just it's not about perfection. It's about just, you know, um, making something that you can be proud of and, you know, finding your inner artist and getting away from the stress of the world. <laughs> it's a healthy escape. Oh, yeah, Lindy, you have one of these on the way, don't you? Yep, so we um, we were making a t tutorial for this kit and just figured we'd go live. So when we're done, it will be on replay on our main page, and then it will be on replay, um, or you can watch it on our YouTube because we put our tutorials on our YouTube channel. So either way, you will be able to use the video to do your kit. All right, this is the last set I think I'm going to do in paper because this will give me two hearts in each of these colors. So in the kit, you get the paint colors that are in the pictured example, but you could always um, go rogue and use whatever paints you want, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. So this one is different than our example that's online. I was just really feeling this navy and coral and teal and just wanted to do something bright and springy. This will probably be live another day this week. I'm thinking Thursday for our BOGO kit. Sometime today, I will count up the votes and see which one is going to get the BOGO code for the month. I was saying earlier, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the bike or the gnome. I'm not, I think they're neck and neck, so we'll see. Are y'all team gnome or team bike or team something else? Did anybody vote for a BOGO kit this month? Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do one more. I think I'm gonna do this one too. Cause this has a lot of the navy. I think it'll pull it together. And I do have another set of the big and the little. So I'm gonna do one more set. Once I get these cut out, this will go pretty fast. So we're almost done with everything except gluing. I'm a terrible tracer here. All right. So this will be the last set. I think I, I think I want to add this navy in a little bit more to bring out that background. You got it for the bike, Lindy. I, I like the bike. I think it's super cute and very springy. But, you know, gnomes are always a hit, too. Everybody seems to love gnomes. I thought about doing um, like two weeks BOGO on the bike and two weeks on the on the gnome, but I don't know if I can commit to that because the, the second half of our month is pretty consumed with our new subscription box. So the first half I can focus my machine on um, the BOGO kits, but the second half I'm, I really need to free it up for our subscription. Okay, so we have all of our hearts cut out. And I'm going to do the same way that we did the little basket here. 
All right, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna use my collage podge, which you would use Mod Podge. Let me get a little bit of this in my egg carton here. All right, and then we'll go through and we're gonna brush it on the wood and then glue the part on. And then I will have to go back and um, sand those down. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is move that around a little bit there. Um, next week is, I think it's next week. What's the date? The 5th, 6th, 5th, I think? Yes, the 5th. Because my daughter turned 16 on Saturday, which just blows my mind. But anyways, um, so the 13th, is that next week? 7... Uh, it might be the week after. We have our spring cactus painting coming up in our free craft kit group. So um, make sure you're in the group to get the template and the supply list for the spring cactus. So that's our free class in April. It's canvas painting. I'm just getting these glued on and then I'm gonna go back and sand them down and put the um, second layer of collage podge on top of the paper, so. Have a cat meowing at me for some reason. She's the quiet one. You probably didn't even hear her. We have one that's super noisy. And then we have one that just makes little pipsqueak noises. You barely hear. <laughs> like total night and day. It's like having two kids. That are opposite. So you could do as much, as many of the hearts as you wanted in the paper. <clears throat> or you could do them all in paint or you could do whatever you wanted and clearly I got confused on how many big hearts I had and I actually think I'm missing a little one we'll see once I get this all together but I think I lost one of my small ones so I guess this will be we'll do one more small one All right, so we have a lot to sand off here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around here and I'm going to sand the edges to get that paper, the extra paper off. I just have a little palm sander. So I'm just going kind of at an angle on the edge and it just gets rid of that. So this will probably this is probably the most time consuming part. It's just going around the edges here. I'm gonna do this one over. I should have put a fresh uh, sandpaper on my sander here. about to just put it all together here.
the final vote has not been tallied. I'm going to do that later today and then probably um, set up the code. So you'll probably find out tonight which one it's going to be. I think just from looking at the votes, I'd say that the bike is probably in the lead. And I, I think the gnome is probably right behind it. So... We'll tally them up tonight because we have votes on our main page and then we have votes on um, our in our craft kit group. So we'll tally both of them up. And this feels like work here. <laughs> Breaking a sweat. Yeah, I love the spring bikes. This time of year bikes are super popular. Almost done. So we're just making sure the edges are rounded out. So here we go. Yes, this balloon kit is online. So it's on our website. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back over with the collage podge and then we'll be ready to get everything put together. So I'm going over the whole, the whole thing. I'm getting the edges really good so that it sticks to that wood. And again, Mod Podge works fine with this. I just really like my collage podge. So I use it on mixed media. So sanding um, the edges does rub off some of that laser cut burned look. If you want, you could go back with black and cover that up. I don't mind it, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Yeah, so I think um, on the frame of this, I see the, the frame is wide enough that you could put a um, saying, some kind of phrase you could write on there. You could use vinyl. Um, I was saying earlier, these balloons are good for graduation gifts. Uh, if you put adventure awaits or, <clears throat> oh, the places you'll go, which is a Dr. Seuss saying that people use a lot for the high school graduates. And nothing beats a handmade gift, right? All right, so those are done. <clears throat> and I only have, I guess I only have one heart that was not um, decoupage. So I think what I'll do is I'll just paint that the teal color, which is the frame color. And that's just going to kind of bring them all together. So we'll have one painted heart on top. And this is um, turquoise is what it's called. Okay, we're ready to put together. <clears throat> Did 
still have some twine somewhere I need. Let's see. I might actually put it up. That's why I don't see it. Hmm. All right, I may have to do that later. But you have um, a couple pieces of twine to show the strings that connect the balloon. Um, and also on your kit, this one didn't do very well, which is why I didn't send it out. Um, but the lines are etched into this base so that you have an idea of where to put your pieces. So I'm going to use some of the E6000. And I can see these lines that are etched in for the basket. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in the middle here. And I'm going to glue that down just like that. You know what? I think I'm going to change these colors. I want it to be khaki. All right. Now, this is where it's going to get kind of tricky because I can't see these lines. They didn't etch. Um, so, you will have the lines. This one messed up, though. Okay. So, I can see the top. What I want to do is glue this navy base down. So, put some glue on the back. And then we have, I got these all out of order, but I think this one goes here. Let's see. Might take me a second. So that goes there. I can see the lines on this one. This one goes up here. And then I know this goes somewhere right about here. So they all line up. All right, so that's where those go. So our coral is our middle. Glue these down. Okay, and then these are a third layer that fit over these. So it just makes it a little, even more 3D. So you just kind of lay them where you want them to be. That one there. And I just like to place everything before I actually glue it down. So I'll put this over here. paint color is a little off. I think where I'm missing is right here. I think there's supposed to be one right here too. So I'm missing one of my little ones. Um, <clears throat> let's see. forget E6000 does not set right away so everything will slide on you until it has had time to dry so just be mindful of that And then I can go back in and draw 
um, some lines if I want. I think there's a separation here between the hearts. And I'll, I'll have to print my, or cut my um, other little heart right here. I mean, you could do anything. You could do polka dots. Let me paint this real quick. Um, you could decorate all the balloons however you want it and make them all different. Let me paint this. I wanted to do this in khaki. So I'm gonna fix this and then we will be done. I have some twine somewhere. I'm gonna do two little pieces of twine right here to look like the string that's holding the basket to the balloon. But I don't, I must have moved it. I don't know where it went. I think this khaki color matches a lot better. Glue this down. You can see it all right so there it is other than um our little twine pieces that hold it together so there's so many things you could do with this to make it look unique as far as paint colors uh scrapbook paper designs um wording lots of different things so if you did get this kit or if you order it and you um do it make sure to post it in our craft kit group so we can see your creativity um, otherwise, thank you all for joining me on this Monday. I hope it's not too rough on you. And I'll see you all probably Thursday night with our BOGO deal. Have a good week. Bye.